So after last week's episode, I'd put my pants back on and left work on Friday, only to realize I had a bunch of boring life stuff to do. Washing the dishes. Writing scripts. Doing my taxes. Packing for packs. You know, all that really boring life stuff that just adds up. So much tedious and stressful crap that I just wasn't in the mood to do any of it. Instead of sorting out my life, I just picked up a controller and started playing Infamous Second Son. I didn't even touch any of the story, really. I just wandered around killing DUP troopers and completing area missions until I cleared my first district. So I got the DUP down to a nice, clean, manageable 0%, and it made me feel good, so I went to the next area. Same again, did a bunch of missions until I cleared them all out. Next area, rinse, wash, repeat until I would cleared the entire Northern Ireland of the bastards, and then I took the fight down south. I had a list of stuff I needed to do, but because it felt like too much, I spent hours completing a list of stuff to do in a video game. But instead of feeling like it was time wasted, it was actually really satisfying. The next day I woke up feeling a lot better, and by the evening, I had most of my jobs done. I substituted my life for a few hours, my surroundings and goals and responsibilities, and it made me think, have I been doing this for years? Have all of us? Why did I love games as a kid? What was it about games that stood out from, say, films or comic books or playing music? I think I was bored a lot as a kid. In fact, I'd say most kids are pretty bored most of the time. They're little balls of energy, there's so many questions about the world and little means to answer them. Maybe that's why games like Monkey Island, Cannon Fodder and Sensible Soccer appeal to me, because within the confines of my home I could reach into other worlds and be a different person. Like a wannabe pirate or a heroic soldier or a goal-scoring superstar hero. That's probably why so many kids play Minecraft, right? Because in the real world, kids have to do everything their parents say. Go to school, come shopping with me, go to bed. But the worlds in Minecraft are ones they build themselves, worlds ruled over by them and their friends. Like treehouse clubs or games of cops and robbers, only thousands of times more fantastical. Is that why we play Skyrim? Because we long to explore? Is that why we loved Zelda as kids? Because we wanted to grow up? I'm sure there's a connection there somewhere, but perhaps it's less obvious than that. Maybe games are just simply an escape, a doorway to another place where we have different surroundings, goals and responsibilities, where we find a solution that we can't in our own skin. Whenever I think about games that help me manage my mood or get over stuff, one instance resurfaces over and over again. I remember being 13 and coming home after a pretty messed up day and filled with that teenage anger and having nowhere to put it, so I turned on my PC, put on my headphones and played Quake 3 for like four hours. Non-stop. Just blowing the living shit out of everything on the screen. Top of the leaderboard, next match, shooting bots, watching them explode, destroying everything I could. I think my parents said goodnight at one point. I can't really remember, I just kept playing, killing, owning these beasts until it was around midnight and I finally stopped. I took off my headphones, shut down the computer, and the anger had gone, replaced with other emotions, but at least the game had gotten me to that point, to the point where at least I could think. Life gets hard, sometimes it's exams, or loved ones, or your job. The world throws us curveballs and we're left powerless. We feel powerless. So how liberating is it to be able to disappear into a world where you have ultimate power? Where you can murder the evil, become the champion, or just walk towards the horizon? Maybe that's why we love them so much, because when the chips were down, when we were at our weakest, games were still there for us. And from the sounds of many of you, it sure seems that way.